New York Mets signed Sean Manaya to a two-year $28 million deal, but he has an opt-out after the first season, so the Mets obviously need another starter in the rotation, and they get the veteran Manaya team-friendly deal. So the last couple seasons definitely been a struggle for Sean Manaya. 2022, 158 innings, 8 and 9 record, 156 Ks, 4.96, and then 2023 last season between a starter and a swingman, where he actually had more success as a swingman coming out of the bullpen and pitching a few winnings after the starter would go out there as an opener and start second third inning 117 and two thirds seven and six record to save 128 k's a 4.44 era and a 1.24 whip so in terms of fantasy baseball i think he'll have more value this season than last if he's going to stick in this new york met rotation because their back end the options really know all that great you got adrian hauser sean manaya and Quintana pretty much the last three guys in the rotation to go with Seravino, who they signed early in the offseason. Eight round flyer for fantasy owners. I think Manaya is a decent pickup towards the end of your fantasy draft where I think Manaya possibly could turn things around. I know it's a tough division with the Atlanta Braves, Philadelphia Phillies, even the Marlins last season out of being a solid year. But a guy could go out there, eat innings, and maybe turn things around after the last two seasons. Have him been great. So Sean Manaya signs with the New York Mets. And we'll see if he can help this Met team in the rotation and possibly fantasy owners entering the 2024 season.